Now, DMK spokesperson Dr. Hafizullah. Dr. Thank you very much for your time. Karnataka Chief Minister has written to several Chief Ministers alleging that the central government is penalizing states that perform well economically in terms of the devolution of taxes and he has asked for a conclave in Bengaluru to discuss this. How does the DMK look at this? See, uh, this has been an important and core issue of the political campaign from the DMK side in the 2024 election. From our leaders taking the issue where Tamil Nadu gives 1 rupee and we get 29 ru paise in return. So that slogan got connected with the people of Tamil Nadu, which is a fact that time again, again the union government is betraying the states which are doing well when it comes to tax devolution. Uh, we have filed a case in the Supreme Court regarding the fund release during the flood, which wasn't done properly. This government is very, very clear and uh, very clever in terms of devolution of funds. That is why rather than including components in the GST, which mandates the union government to devolute funds as per the recommendations of the Finance Commission. So they have taken a shortcut or a parallel route by invoking CIS on certain items. So for the CIS, there are no set principles now, how Sharing. it has to be divided among the states. So these two are the key problems that this that the state government is facing, Tamil Nadu is facing, and more so the states which are opposing the BJP. So in such a scenario, we need to sit and chart a strategy to counter this. There is a road tax. You know, UP gets a X share, and Tamil Nadu gets a little share. There is no question of fiscal federalism which the constitution mandates the union government to uh, to follow would the tamil nadu chief minister mk stalin attend this uh, uh, in principle uh, the dmk supports any move that promotes federalism state autonomy and it, when at this point of time f f uh, fiscal federalism is an important issue so it is for my leader to decide the BJP cites two things. They deny this kind of uh, discrimination. They say compared to the allocation of funds for states like Tamil Nadu during the UP regime, it's more. Number two, they say many of these grants depend on the population of the recipient states. For example, UP, they argue, has a larger population than states like Karnataka and Tamil Nadu. See, uh, at the outset, this is very criminal of the BJP to give such false claims. Any financial matter, for that matter, has to be discussed on how much is given and how much is given in return. So they conveniently not tell you how much Tamil Nadu has given during UPA regime and how much Tamil Nadu has given during the NDA regime. During UPA regime, what was the budget of the union government? The union government budget has increased three times now compared to what the UPA had. Now you don't tell about all that. There was no GST that time. State had SOTR was there. State had the own rights to uh, tax uh, tax on products. Now you have snatched it away. So everything goes to you, which was already with the state. And then you give too little, like a pinch of salt. And then you say, we have given so much. If you are comparing oranges with apple, that will not work at all. States like Tamil Nadu did not participate in the Niti Aayog meet. Do you think that was a kind of a mistake, a missed opportunity to explain things? No, we know what demand. I think boycott of Niti Aayog was a sign of protest to expose how unconstitutional and how dictatorial this uh, union government is. So we don't uh, regret for uh, establishing such a protest. It is a form of protest which has to be registered in democracy. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your time. That was Dr. Hafizullah, DMK spokesperson, talking to us, responding to the Karnataka Chief Minister Sidramaya's call for a conclave of Chief Ministers to discuss what he calls fiscal federalism. In Chennai with Suresh, Sam Daniel, Find the TV.